Hi, it's Luke from Not The Tabletop. Hope you're keeping well. I'm just jumping in with an update from Warhammer Community with regard to the new Space Marine box sets. So, we all had an inkling back when the Christmas box sets were announced, with the Space Marine boxes looking rather different than the rest of the Christmas box sets. And it looks like all our thoughts have been confirmed. Different Space Marine chapters are gonna get their own bundle over time. So, Without further ado, let's just jump straight into the box. So with our first box set, we have the Iron Hand. So what comes in the Iron Hand Stalk Force? Well, we have two Redemptor Dreadnoughts, we have 10 Intercessors, we have a Primaris Tech Marine, and Iron Father Ferris himself. And what do I think of this box? Well, I think this box is okay. The reason why I say it's okay, it's a bit strange they've put in the Primaris Tech Marine and Ferris himself. And it seems to be aimed at more newer players. For those that have been playing Iron Hands for a while, you likely have them, these two models already somewhere within your collection. And with that, that then leaves these two models redundant. However, you still do get a nice saving across the 10 Intercessors and the Dreadnoughts. With the next box, we have Salamanders, my second favourite Space Marine Army after the Space Wolves. And with this, you do have a Drax Agatone, and you have 20 Intercessors. You get three Eradicators and three Aggressors. And you see, I really like this box. And I'll tell you why I really like this box. You can pretty much use this for any Space Marine chapter that you want to. A Drax Agatone, you can easily convert him to be a captain from anywhere else with a little bit of work. And yeah. I do realise you do get 20 intercessors and that seems quite a lot, however if you're starting out it can instantly bulk bump you up. With the next box we have the right scars. So the white scars it does seem like a really good deal and I do like this box from the fact that there is a ton of bikes, it's white scars, what else do you expect? However, however with the Outrider bikes you can pick them up very cheap on eBay already because these have appeared in the starter sets already. Therefore, there's a lot of times these are being sold off. So even though the savings value does seem really, really good, you might find that you can actually pick up these models online elsewhere cheaper than doing it through this box set. So the next box set we have is for the Ultramarines. So with the Ultramarines, you get 10 Intercessors, 10 Hellblasters, three Bladeguard Veterans, Magnus Kalgar, and you get Chief Librarian Tigurus. And what I love about this box, if you want to play Ultramarines, I think this is a fantastic box to start with. Um, just from a lore point of view, I absolutely love Marnius Kalgar. If you want a lore video on Marnius Kalgar, please let me know in the comments. Honestly, I think he's an incredible, incredible character. So what are your thoughts on these overall box sets? Will you be picking up these box sets up? Have you picked up any of the previous box sets, such as the Raven Guard or Imperial Guard one? Or are you excited to see what they're going to come up with the other box sets? I for one am hoping that we're going to see a Space Wolves box set come up quite soon and that will probably lead to me to buying it depending what's in there. Anyway, if you are new to the channel please subscribe and I'll see you next time.